Hello Aquarius, welcome, it's Sandra here from Wolf Moon Tarot. I hope you're all well wherever you are. This is your reading for the 7th through to the 14th of February 2022 or thereabouts, it could resonate a little bit beyond that time. But um, it is a general reading Aquarius so take what resonates with you but anything that doesn't leave it behind because it'll be for somebody else at this time. All right, but let's see, shall we? So what do we have for um, Aquarius? We'll get some overall energies to start your reading off. So what do we have for Aquarius? 7th to the 14th of February, 2022. What does Aquarius need to consider at this time? We've had a card jumped out. It's number 44. And um, this talks about unison, having common goals with others, shared values. Um, being at one with others. So we'll take that, put it to one side. Um, what else? What else for Aquarius, please? Number 16. Now this talks about um, distance, uh, isolation sometimes. Uh, perspective, all, all dependent on where you're standing to look at a situation. You know, you can have a different viewpoint um, to others, for example. Um, but this is about being in isolation, perhaps having uh, looking at something from a distance. All right. Okay. All right, so what's important for Aquarius to consider at this time, please? What's important for Aquarius to consider at this time? <clears throat> so we have the heart of your reading, Aquarius. The, what's at the root of the matter? Past influences. What's on your mind at the moment? The future going forward? And then something else that your guides would like to say to you at this time. And at the bottom of the deck we have the Hermit. Um, and this talks about um, tapping into your inner self, to your inner wisdom and shining your light to get the answers. You're trying to get the answers to something. You're trying to find something out. Um, but you're, you're tapping into your inner wisdom. You're exploring your inner wisdom and knowledge to get some answers, to find a way through or out of a situation, a direction to go. So could we clarify all of the cards on the table for Aquarius, please? Clarify the cards on the table for her, for Aquarius. And at the bottom of the deck we have the Knight of Swords and so this is information coming in, a message being delivered. Um, coming in quite quickly, the Knight of Swords is the quickest knight, fastest knight in the Minor Arcana and delivering a message very quickly, so something coming in very quickly. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm just going to <coughs> get a drink. Okay, so what do we have? <clears throat> so at the heart of your reading, Aquarius, we've got the Sun and we've got the Page of Swords. 
I mean, the sun is the fantastic energy. It's the most optimistic card in the major arcana. It is a major arcana energy. Um, so it brings in joy, optimism, happiness, new beginnings, new opportunities, expansion. Um, it also sheds light on situations. And of course, we've got the Page of Swords. Um, and this is um, information coming in. Getting a light bulb moment. So I feel the sun is shedding light, bringing light onto a situation that you're going to, going to suddenly get information about with the Page of Swords. And I feel it may be something that's that's on its way to be delivered to you, either universally or, or on the more on the earth plane. But you're certainly going to discover something. Something's going to create a light bulb moment for you. And it's information coming in. That's being brought in by the sun energy, which is beautiful. And, and, and I mean, this could well be what you've been searching for, Aquarius. So let's have a look. <clears throat> okay. At the root of this matter, we've got the Two of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. You'll have to excuse my voice. My, my It's gone a bit croaky at the moment. <clears throat> but, um, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> I don't know why it does this. It does this every now and again. Particularly when I'm doing readings. Um, <clears throat> so at the root of the matter... You've had to, your, the path that you were on, you came to a fork in the road and you've had to choose a direction to go, a different direction. Something to do with money, <clears throat> something to do with perhaps an employer, um, but something to do with finances, managing money, work, career perhaps. So that's at the root of this situation that you've been trying to get more information about. Past influences, we have <clears throat> the Four of Pentacles and the King of Cups. And <clears throat> the Four of Pentacles, this is um, when you have to hold something close to your chest. Protect what you have, look after what you have. Um, and it's either having to protect what you have from a King of Cups energy, or this is an aspect of yourself, Aquarius, very much of the heart, very um, managing your emotions, understanding your emotions. The King of Cups is very much a Pisces energy, a water energy. So it's to do with, um, it matters to do with our heart, heart centre. It can be to do with love and relationships, but it doesn't have to be just about that. Whatever's meaningful for you. And, and there's a very meditative quality uh, or energy around this King of Cups. So it could be tapping into your emotions and the meaning of a situation for you um, in the past that you were holding on to, holding back, trying to protect what you have protecting your emotions perhaps for some of you <clears throat> so what's on your mind at the moment um, Aquarius well we have the five of, of wands and we have the ace of cups so what you're thinking about is some form of a conflict um, differing of opinions different viewpoints Everybody's standing up for what they believe in, but it, it's different, you know, and it can cause some, some, some level of conflict, different perspectives. And of course, here we had something about perspective, being in isolation, looking at something perhaps differently to how others see this according to where they're standing. So this is what you're thinking about, this difference of opinion. Um, and it's some form of a, a new opportunity, new beginning for you, but you've got to look after your heart. And I feel this is what this is happening. So there's some form of a new beginning, new opportunity uh, uh, that's meaningful for you, um, 
but you're having to protect your heart and I feel that's because there's some form of conflict going on, differing of opinions, differing perspectives. I can see why <clears throat> the hermits come forward. <clears throat> um, just to find, to shine his light, to get to the bottom of, to get a better understanding of what all these different perspectives are, are about, you know, trying to get an understanding. Because, you know, there's something here about having common goals, having shared values, being at one with others. But that's not always easy, is it, according to where you're standing and if you're in isolation from others. You know, so that's not always an easy thing to do, which is why the hermits come forward to shine his light, to get a better understanding. But certainly the heart of your reading, that the light is being shone, the sun has come forward to, to shine a light on a situation. You're going to get a light bulb moment or you're, or you're having a light bulb moment at this time. So going forward, wow, we've got two Wands energies going forward. Look at this, the, the Ace of Wands and the King of Wands. My goodness. So the Ace of Wands, this is grasping um, a very passionate, new, creative opportunity. But grasping it with both hands. This is something that's going to set something on fire. You know, look, look at the colours here. Um, it's a sparking energy. This is a very um, fantastic enterprising energy here. So it's new, a new opportunity coming in for you going forward. And the King of Wands, yes, and the King of Wands is at the top of, of his element here. Um, <clears throat> he's the on... <clears throat> excuse me. Excuse me, Aquarius, don't know what's going on. Um, the King of Wands is the entrepreneur in, 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 in tarot. So um, he's the, the top of the Wands energy. So he's, he's entrepreneur, he's creative, he's a go-getter, he sees opportunities and goes for them. So this, this energy is coming in for you. He's, this, is, this is you tapping into this element, Aquarius. It's not gender-specific. So... The King of Wands very much, you know, bringing passion into this fantastic new idea. And this could be your idea. This could be you bringing this. Here's the, he's carrying his torch, look, and here it is. So I feel this is probably you coming forward with this new idea, this new creative idea that's going to bring in um, opportunity, expansion and excitement. Wow, they're fantastic energies for you, Aquarius, going forward. Yes. <clears throat> Excuse me. I do apologise, Aquarius. <laughs> I think it's just the... Um, do, doing the reading sometimes, it, it gets my throat chakra going, especially if it's a bit, it's a bit exciting, like this reading is. But, um, yes, the, your guide wants to say... We've got the Nine of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. So I've just got a feeling this is very much to do with work, career, finances. Um, but the Nine of Pentacles, this is not gender specific, but this is about working for yourself, being autonomous, being creative, managing your own affairs, but being, you know, there's expansion and, and abundance within this energy here and wealth. We've got the butterfly of transformation here also, so things changing. Um, but being more independent, being autonomous here. Um, and the Seven of Pentacles. You've set good roots here. There's good roots here. Something is well established. But you've got to give something time to grow now. You've got to nurture it. It's in its early stages, although it's got good roots. It's in its early stages and you're going to nurture it Look after it, feed water it, and help it to grow. So have t give have patience, and allow it to grow. Um, but it's something to do with being autonomous now, and being more in control of your destiny. I feel. 
So this reading won't be for everybody, Aquarius, but whoever it's for, I hope you can understand what the, the message is that's trying to say to you. But there's something very much about perhaps being in a bit of isolation at the moment, um, having a, a limited perspective on something, but definitely on the pe same page as others and wanting to go in unison with others. But light is being going to be shed on this situation. Um, and you're going to get a light bulb moment. Um, but, but you are thinking about some form of conflict and that's what you're trying to get to the bottom of and you're trying to protect your emotions at the same time. So there's some different viewpoints going on, a bit of conflict going on. Um, but you've had to, you have had, you've had to choose a, a pathway. You've come to a fork in the road. Something stopped you going along the road that you were on. So you've had to, you ha you've had to choose a different direction. Something to do with work, career, and finances. I feel uh, maybe connected to an employer also. Um, but in the past, you've had to hold on, keep something close to your chest. Um, to do with love and relationships perhaps or things that are meaningful for your heart giving it some deep contemplator contemplative thought all right but going forward there's the, the fabulous you're, you're going to come up with some form of a fabulous creative idea and um, you're going to see an opportunity and i feel you're going to grasp it something new promising excitement creativity and abundance and expansion I'm going to set things on fire i feel um, and yes, it's going, your guides want to say, it's, this is about being autonomous, doing your own thing, perhaps working for yourself for some of you, but not, not, not for everybody. But certainly being more independent, making your own decisions. Um, and having established deep roots with this and, you know, giving it time to grow. Looking after it, nurturing it, it's in its early stages, so giving it time to grow. All right, so fabulous, fabulous reading for you, Aquarius, whoever this is for. But, um, okay, I think my throat has calmed down. <laughs> All right, so two final messages for Aquarius, please. Two final messages for Aquarius, please, to conclude this reading. Two final messages. All right, so we have miracles. Expect the wondrous to emerge, Aquarius, and embracing enthusiasm. Shout to the <clears throat> shout to the heavens with happiness. Here we go again. <coughs> Goodness, miracles. Expect the wondrous to emerge. Miracles happen, and they happen every day. And we usually feel that miracles are happening to ev everybody else, everywhere else, bar ourselves. But this is saying this is for you, Aquarius. So um, don't doubt this process, expect the wondrous to emerge uh, and it will do, it's on its way. And embrace it with enthusiasm. This is time of transformation with the butterflies here. So this is about communication, shout to the heavens with happiness. All right, a time of transformation for you. So embrace this with enthusiasm. Fabulous, a fabulous reading for you. And I do apologise again for my, my throat and my throat chakra needing to constantly clear itself. Um, but I think it's because of this, this fantastic reading. I mean, I could have stopped the recording and, and started a new reading, but um, it wouldn't have been... This is the important reading for you, so I hope you don't mind that I carried on um, <laughs> in the vein that I did. But... Um, Lovely reading, whoever it's for. But good luck going forward, Aquarius. And until next time, bye-bye for now.